It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. No, it really is. I mean, we've got the Christmas tree in the background, although that Christmas tree will be packed away and transported to our new abode. Our new humble abode. A rental property, this time. First time I've actually had my name on an actual rental lease in, I'm going to say, um, five or six years. So... You know, whenever I've been in Alice Springs, whenever I've been in Australia, I've lived in this unit, which I've owned since 2015. And whenever I've gone back to New Zealand, I've thankfully, gratefully, been able to live with either my mum or dad. So I, I have not actually had my name on a lease for a long time. But if anything, it's going to be good for my credit rating. And, um, you know, to double, like I think the, the, the square meterage of the actual house is 250 square meters. There's four bedrooms, two bathrooms, a massive... Um, kitchen the lounge is not so big but you know everyone's got their own space big backyard about a thousand square meters um, of land so today a week today is when we're going to move into that place and I assume I will be making a video around that but um, today it is feeling a lot like Christmas and it's the first of uh, first of December and um, I'm about to uh, go back to work this is my lunch break but um, tonight after work we've got a Christmas party and they come and they go and this year I'm feeling apprehensive I'd be lying if I I'd be lying if I said I was really looking forward to it but I I know that being early in my role um, and being that we've got a really small team a team of three in our office we are catching up with another company um, the boss's friends I think from another company in town so I think there's going to be about 10 of us in total but as far as the numbers from our particular office it's only three and so I'm gonna go I've got to go I want to go but I'm still feeling really apprehensive because of obvious reasons there's going to be alcohol involved and you know I've said to myself that I've, you know, I've known it's coming for the last week and a half and I've had to, I've had to prepare, um, I've had to prepare mentally for it and I've had to really try and put in place a, a foolproof plan. But as you guys know, as any problem drinkers out there will know, any drinkers in general, all it takes is one and then two and then three and then that turns into five and then all of a sudden you're in double figures and the night is uh, well and truly on. So I guess uh, part of the plan for me tonight is to not drink before I get there. Uh, I'm going to meet them there at 6.30. My kids, well actually the um, Miffy, Miffy's Christmas party for her job is also tonight. So we're both going to our own Christmas parties. The kids are going to be looked after here at the house uh, by Miffy's sister, which is really convenient. Uh, but what that means is that, you know, I don't want her, well, I mean, I've basically promised to come home, uh, well, I couldn't really put my finger on a, a time. I was getting pressed and pressed by Miffy for a time that I'd be home, and at the end of the day I said, look, I don't know, I can't tell you, but it's not going to be anything like midnight. In fact, I did eventually say 9 30 to 10 o'clock so that's my plan no drinking beforehand slowly 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 no half and half Jim Beam and Cokes like I'd normally do to get me on that level um, it's not about that it's about showing face it's about celebrating for me at least the last three and a half weeks worth of uh, work worth of learning um, I feel like I've done a really good job. I feel like, well, whatever, whatever the truth is, it's going to come out tonight, whether I've done a good job or not. But no, I'm pretty confident that I've done a good job. Uh, there's no anxiety around that because I quite simply have not been drinking or smoking weed. And I'm going to bed each night knowing that I've ticked off uh, everything that I've needed to that day, whether it be to do with work or not. And I wake up that next morning knowing that. Uh, with no hangover, 
no stone over, relatively rested, a smile on my face, and I crack into the next day. Now, okay, so I've put it out there, the truth is out, the Christmas party is on tonight, and I will be having a couple of drinks. Because it's a social occasion, and it's a conscious choice, I'm not craving it, but I, I am making the conscious decision that this particular social occasion is worth it. Although, if I can wake up tomorrow morning feeling 90% as good as I've been waking up recently, get myself to the gym, back at the house by mid, by, you know, mid morning, 10 or 11, having gone out last night, enjoyed myself, enjoyed my time with my colleagues outside of the work environment, I mean, I will be even happier than I am now. And that's the plan. That's the plan. I, I said to myself, look, if there was a limit on the number of drinks, it's six over three hours. That's what I'm saying now. I'll report back to you guys tomorrow. But um, secondly, I, I, I have to mention this again. You know, the insurance industry is, is a, an industry, I'm not going to say based around alcohol, but there's certainly a lot of alcohol flowing. And my co-worker... Uh, my co-worker has had his issues with alcohol in the past as well, and we've had pretty open conversations about it. But I am, I, I'm, I'm, um, I am not willing to sacrifice my sobriety for a casual beer, you know, midweek or anything like that. And um, last night the power went out, as you guys may well know if you watched yesterday's video. And what I did when the power went out, I wanted to. Well, I wanted to go to the gym, but I couldn't. I wanted to go to the supermarket, but I couldn't. I ended up coming home. The power came on at about 8.30 and I cooked. I cooked. That's how I got my, my good feelings last night prior to going to bed. From 8.30 to 10 o'clock, I cooked um, and I made up some, some meal prep for today and for the next day. And I went to bed at like 20 past 10, had a shower, brushed my teeth, went to bed, 20 past 10, um, no alcohol in the system. Uh, went to bed, woke up at six and cracked on with the day today, knowing that if and when I do drink, it's going to be tonight. Now, my co-worker uh, had some drinks on, on Wednesday um, and then yesterday used that excuse of the power going out to go to the pub. And he rung me at like six o'clock and said, come down. And I said, look, man, I can't. I felt bad. I felt really bad to let, for, for letting him down. But I said, fuck, man, I, I can't. I can't do it. I don't want to. I'm, I'm not willing to do it. I want to wait until tomorrow. He wasn't happy with that, but, you know, got over it. In the end, he got home at 11 o'clock at night. And at work this morning, he just won't shut up about how shit he feels. And yes, I feel sorry for him because I've been there. But shut the fuck up about it. It's your own fault. And what that means is that I'm, you know, it's, it's, he's, he's a different person and I know what it's like being hung over, being at work. You're not, you, you're severely under par, you know, simple tasks, simple phone conversations or emails that you may have had to make just seem that much, you know, harder and it just, you're just struggling. He's on struggle street right now. It's 12 o'clock midday. He's on struggle street. He's saying things like, Oh, I don't want to go tonight. Oh, I don't want to go to the party. You know, would they, would they care if I didn't go? Well, we've got three people in the fucking office, mate. If you take one of, one of them out, that's a third disappeared. That's a third gone. So I said at the end of the day, I've heard it all this morning. I've heard it fucking all, um, from him. And Prior to leaving the office for lunch, he said, again, I don't think I'm going to go tonight. And I know he's joking, like he has been joking about it this morning, but, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not entertaining these fucking jokes anymore, bro. You either want to go or you're not, so, or, or you don't. So I said, as I left, I said, you'll do what you do, bro. You will do what you do. And I put it in his hands. I'm not going to convince him to go. I'm not going to convince him not to. But at the end of the day... I'm working with a couple of people that enjoy a drink and that could well be a bad influence if I let it. But I tell you what, 
And I said that to him this morning. I said, look, don't underestimate the power of saying no. Do not underestimate the power of being able to say no. I just, I just did it yesterday. I, I said no. And I f- I'm fucking glad I did. You know, really glad because it's got me to this point. I'm feeling really good. I'm going to get a haircut after work. I'm going to get a new shirt. I'm going to head down and um, have my six drinks and then come home, eat, make sure the kids are in bed, have a shower, go to bed, wake up tomorrow and crack on with life because that is, that's, that's what I want to do. So after all of that, right the christmas party's tonight i could i could quite easily skip it because all it's doing is throwing a spanner in the fucking works as far as my sobriety as far as my uh my my daily routine you know i want my saturdays and sundays now to be clear and to be uh work, you know um productive and i have the risk of tomorrow not being productive or at least the morning and I just I just don't want that but it is what it is it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas and a, a, a Merry Christmas to all of you people out there watching I don't know I think yeah this video won't come out until the new year but uh, you know I'll be in a new house which is gonna be amazing I already know I'll be another month through my my new job um, and another month sober for the most part. Look, I don't want to be letting anyone down through doing this, but at the end of the day, it's not about you. It's about me and it's about what I see and what I feel when I look at myself in the mirror each and every morning. And if I don't feel like I'm letting myself down, then all is well in the world. And I quite simply, having been sober for like 43 days at the moment from alcohol, almost a month off of weed, no porn, no social media, a way better diet. I'm in the gym now. I'm working. We've got a new rental. It's like, fuck, if you don't, you know, (laughs) I'm not saying I need to drink to celebrate, but I am saying I fucking deserve it. And so I'm going to go and have fun. And if you can't have fun in life, then what's the point? And I'm not saying that you need alcohol to have fun, but I am saying I'm going to allow myself and I'm not going to feel bad. I'm not going to kick myself for it. I'm not going to feel like I've let myself down. And that, my friends, is the most important thing because the relationship we have with ourselves is it's everything. Once you've got a positive relationship with yourself, then you can start portraying that with other people and other relationships. So those are some thoughts on the 1st of December. 2023 I said to myself I wanted to be clean serene and a lean mean machine by the age of 33 well we got two of the three uh, working on the third so I've got a lot of work involved actually in getting this place ready for rent and uh, mortgage rates have unfortunately my particular mortgage rate has gone up one and a half percent uh recently which is fucking killing me in fact once i once we leave here i may actually sell this place i may because the uh the rental repa- the um the, the mortgage repayments are just too high but all of that and more will be revealed times are changing times are changing but at the end of the day life is fucking good and um That is a feeling that I just thought I may never get back, or at least it it seemed so, so far away. But I can genuinely say at the moment, life is good.